In this video, I'll be going over the Platform Developer 1 Certification Maintenance Spring 19 Challenge, the Hands-On Challenge. In the Hands-On Challenge, it goes over a new query keyword with security enforced, which is a new way of basically checking if fields, if the fields that you're looking at, you have permissions on them. So when you're running a query, let's say, um, let's take the simple one, select ID, parent name, parent website from account, using the with security enforced keyword, it will make sure that all you, your user has access to all of these fields and it'll throw an exception if the user does not have access to those fields. So this comes in handy when you're writing web services or you have processes that run that look up maybe all the fields and beforehand you would have actually had to check information uh, similar to this so seeing if all of the specific fields have you have access to those fields and then or the individual ones here so it's name that is accessible so before you would have to do this on pretty much every field or running a loop to figure it out uh, now we can just use this keyword and um, it'll check it for us. So I'm going to launch my playground org here. Oh, I already had it launched. The first thing that we're going to do is create this new field on the contact object, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll call it secret key on the contact. And this is just the beginning pieces, the setup for this. So we're going to need a field. It was text 255. Perfect. And the key thing here is to make sure that standard user does not have access to the field. You can do this, you know, you can take away the permission on any of the profiles, but specifically in the challenge it asks for that to be removed so we are going to remove that or uncheck it here the visibility and next we are going to um, insert some code in so that's it for setting up the configuration of it and now let's go into the code and this one's actually pretty cool because we're, we end up making a rest api a quick one that is just to demonstrate the process for it. So we'll call that rest service. Go back into here, copy this bad boy, paste it all in. And yeah, as we're looking at this old code, uh, we had to make sure when we're going through this, we had to make sure that the contact itself is accessible. The fields that we're looking for, we have access to, and we're doing this line by line. It does get a little bit easier if we're constructing this query um, in a loop so we're looking up all of the fields and then we're asking if it's accessible it is possible but it's a little bit annoying uh, with the new keyword that we have we can just call this with security enforced so just going back through here real quick we have uh, creating the custom field creating the class copying the code over and now we're going to add um, into the SQL query line 13 we're going to add in our new keyword save this next up what it asks is to refactor the code to remove remove redundant checks so that comes in here where we actually don't need to do this anymore because this keyword is doing the checks on all of the uh, fields that we're querying so let's remove this and if we remove that if statement, we actually can remove the bottom piece as well. Let's save this up, looking good. So those are all of the redundant pieces. We can actually remove this as well, save, because that was a an exception that we they created. And then next, we're going to try to maintain the behavior um, that we're looking for and some of the keywords here is require catching of the query system that query exception so that this is what's going to get thrown once we have an error so we're going to catch that Oop, discord's coming up 
and this is the official SFDX exchange discord if you guys don't know about it so I would highly recommend if you haven't joined it yet it's uh, and really active has a lot of different channels and just I guess quick plug in there for that channel all right so back to this we need to throw a try catch and it says to catch the query exception and we'll just call that exception e so that we're doing the query exception is what the system is going to be the error that system is going to be throwing um, and then just because let's let's finish this out we're going to throw e get message uh, so we know what the error is that comes out of there and to fix this up let's move this section into our try and then we actually don't need this anymore as well so let's delete that and save it um, and we deleted probably too much results. This equals results, and that equals result. Eh, let's take this out again. This is the list here. Okay, that was just errors going off beforehand. And I think that's it. So let's go back to our, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's check our challenge to see if it worked. And at the end here, it actually says to, if we wanted to actually check it, we could invoke um, a, a, a workbench rest service to check it out. So we will probably do that just to go the extra mile so let's go into Workbench. If you haven't seen Workbench, it is a tool that has a lot of different Salesforce you know, tools itself. Um, one thing to note here is that it's already logging me in. If you've never logged into a, um, if you've never logged into a Trailhead org into Workbench, what you need to do is copy your domain. Let me see if I can do it if I do not you. Let's try that again. We'll do use a custom domain. You'll paste that in here. You'll hit continue. It's rolling through it again because I probably got logged out of my uh, my trailhead org. Let's launch this. Let's try this one more time. Really want to demonstrate this because I've I've had to look this up before. Anyways, just uh, make sure you're logged into your work workbench or sorry your 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 org the correct org if you need to copy the URL and paste it into that custom domain section hit allow next we will go to the rest explorer and then uh, let's type in our rest service here so it's probably uh, oh, I already have it in there so it's apex rest slash secure rest and let's execute this and it needs to be a get command and this is not found. Let me make sure I spelt everything right. Here we go. Here we go. So this, I, I spelt the method wrong, but we can see here an error message is actually being spit out from our results. Thank you guys for watching.